Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty, and today I have a huge giveaway. It's going to be 60, 60 skeins of yarn, and I'm calling it Someone Else Will Love This Yarn. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kim. Please like, share, and subscribe. My channel is all about learning how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Some of the rules. This is going to be open worldwide. As long as your country will let you accept giveaways or winnings or whatever you call it, um, you need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to like this video. If you can, please follow me on Instagram. Um, the link for that will be down below. And I am not responsible for duties, taxes, or fees. And 18 plus only. This, bit, this giveaway is opening starting today, October 1st, and closing on October 10th, which is I Love This Yarn Day, which I thought was appropriate. So let's get into all the squishy lovelies that we are going to have in my Someone Else Will Love This Yarn giveaway. Um, so first, we have some Burnett Premium in the color English Rose. And this is um, this is 360 yards, 100% acrylic. There'll be four of these in the giveaway. One, two, three, four. Then we have uh, Premier Yarns Toy Box in the color baby doll and this one's 100% acrylic and there is 190 yards in this and this I have one two three four five then I have some Peter Pan Tinkerbell in the color color no color shade 804 and this is 50% acrylic 50% nylon by Peter Pan and I have one two of those then I have yarn B mimosa in the color coral and this is yardage 62% cotton, 38% rayon, 240 yards. One of those in the color coral. Then I have some Premier Yarns Just Makers Twine. This is the color fuchsia and white. 69 yards, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. And I have one in fuchsia and white. And one in pink and white. Okay, then also from Hobby Lobby, I have Yarn Bee Brushworks in the color blush. And this one is 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. Um, 254 yards. Then I have Sugar and Cream in the color rose pink. And that one is... Hundred and, nope, sorry, 120 yards, and that is 100% cotton. I also have Peaches and Cream, which is 100% cotton, in the color Rouge Red. However, that reads pink to me, so hence why it's in the giveaway. Yeah, pink is my least favorite color. Again, someone else will love this yarn. And this one is 120 yards. Then I have a Stitch Studio sample by Nicole in the color, um, there is no color on this, but it is 100% acrylic, variegated, or stripey, or whatever you want to call it, 68 yards. <laughs> um, then I have some Symphonia in the color... Oh, hold on. Tags over it. Oh, 
Then I have some Symphonia in the color Metazado Rosa. And this is 100% mercerized cotton. And it is 100 grams, 218 yards. And I have one, two, three of those. And then I have some Bernat Harmony in the color whoop, Ultra Pink. And this one is 100% acrylic. And there is 216 yards in this. And I have one, two, three of that. Um, then I also have some more Hobby Lobby. I see RB Luciana in the color peach is 110 yards. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is 75% acrylic, 25% polyamide. And then I also have more Hobby Lobby, Yarn Bee Chloe in the color Sunkissed Grove. And there is 270 yards in that. And this is the pretty color. And I have one, two, three, four of that. Loops and Threads Barcelona in the color Peony, 100% acrylic, and there is 328 yards in this, so there's quite a bit of yardage on there, in the color Peony, and there's one, two, three, four of that, so that is over a thousand yards of that Barcelona yarn. Um, then I have Red Heart Boutique Rigoletto in the color Rose, I'm sorry, the co color Hot Pink. And this one is 38% acrylic, 32% nylon, 28% wool, and 2% other fiber. And this one has 10 yards in it, and there is two of these. You can make a scarf, I believe, with that, or whatever you desire. Then I have some Premier. Premier Hipster, and this one is 90% rayon made from bamboo and 10% polyamide, 161 yards, in the color foliage. Looks like this. And there is four of those. One, two, three, four. Then also some Premier, some Premier Starbella in two different colorways. So I first have Spring Bouquet, which looks like that. And I have two of those. And this one has 33 yards and it's 100% acrylic. So 66 yards of this one. And then one of Happy Pinks, which is this one. Then I also have this 100% cotton that I got from um, Knit Crate. Um, it did not come with a band, but I know it's 100% cotton because I have some other ones in blue um, that said that. So there's one of those. It's very soft. Then I also do enjoy vintage um, crochet and items on this channel. So I have some Branbury Crossing Wintuck 100% Dupont or Lawn Acrylic in the color Azalea. And there is yardage, yardage, yardage. Where be the yardage? There are no yards on this? Hold on. Well. It just says four ounces on it. 
and the color azalea. I have one, two, three of that. And then for those of you that enjoy it, I also have some crochet thread. South made, 100% mercerized cotton in the color Dusty Rose. And there is 350 yards on this one. And then classic crochet thread by Royal in the color Orchid Pink. And there's 350 yards on that. <clears throat> then I also have some Ashland Twine in this spring pink color, 120 feet of this. I have crocheted and crafted with twine before. It's fun. Um, Make some good bags. <laughs> then I have two spools of this 100% cotton um, yarn. Crafter's Square Sparkle Yarn, 100% polyester in three different colors. There is 145 yards on each. There's no color name on it, but there's a baby pink, a deeper pink, and a dusty pink, I guess. There's three of those. And then I also have some assorted sock yarns. So this one is by Schupa Wool, made in Germany. Uh, 75% virgin wool, 25% nylon, with no color name. And it looks like this. Then there's some other assorted sock yarns. this one and this one and these two 100% cottons so that is my 60 skein yarn reminder again there is some wool in this so if you have an allergy just be aware of that subscribe to my channel um, like and share if you can and follow me on Instagram Yep, so I'll be closing this drawing on October 10th and drawing it on October 10th on I Love This Yarn Day. Or, sorry, on I Love Yarn Day. And, yeah, everybody have a creative day. Bye, good luck.